don't have a lot today. I'm down by the lake again. We had a pretty big storm and it's been two days and I really thought we'd have more, but I'm gonna go around to all my sites today. So I'm just now starting. This one fell off of the site. And so, in a light look, it's got a skewer. If I just stack them like this, not only will they stick together, especially if it's a little moist outside, the one I stack on top of this one, the gills are gonna stick to it, you know? And then it's gonna sporulate on top of it and it's gonna mess up my photography and things that I wanna do with it. Which if you're not doing any of that, I guess you wouldn't care. And if you're not collecting many, I guess you wouldn't care. And then, oh look. And as you know, I make a slurry. So this past year, well, last year I did the slurry and I put it in three places and two of those places fruited. So I don't think I'll get those results every year. And I'm not sure why I was so successful because that defies the odds, but I don't know anyone else that's using my technique. And so I can't really do a video on it because YouTube will strike it. So I'm trying to sprinkle the knowledge in my videos. And so what I do is I just throw all of the, this and whatever I don't use into a bucket and I let it sit out and get rain in it. And then it all just sort of sits and bubbles and ferments or whatever. And what it's getting then is the bacteria from the soil that it needs, other you know, nutrients, whatever. This is gonna have nitrogen and a lot of the nutrients that it needs that I'm putting back in the soil and giving back to it. I basically was trying to recreate the conditions that are in the wild when they just rot and return back to the earth in the rain and the weathering and all of that. So it's a really low key tech that's, you know, mimicking earth and, and what happens naturally. So that's the other reason I take them. I'm having a weird day. 
It is Halloween 2020 and all summer I worked on getting a Viking outfit together for tonight to put together a celebration of Samhain and to celebrate our ancestors and do a drum circle for you guys and record it and everything. And I was like, oh well, I don't have the Viking outfit, but slowly everybody canceled. So I thought I would just come out and forage. I've been working on editing and getting stuff uploaded and uh, especially a day I look forward to all year. So I just thought I'd come out and forage and I found some new growth mullen at the end of the year and all these pecans everywhere. So I think what I'm gonna do is just go drum by myself. And uh, this is my site where I get a lot of mullen and all that passion flower for my smoke blends. And the county came through and cut it all down. You win some, you lose some. Just keep moving, right? 